Hey folks, I want to share with you a video today about a really cool uh, old crane, you know, at a location here in Napa. I've seen this crane for years uh, as I drive over the 29. There is uh, this vacant 154-acre site that used to be um, a company called Bas uh, Basalt Rock in 1920. I guess it opened, and then in 1941 it started building ships for the Navy during the war, and in 2004 it closed. Uh, and I guess they have plans to build a Costco here, which, without digressing, I'm not sure how a Costco is going to benefit uh, that natural habitat back there. You're going to see in this video there's some cool birds and stuff here that that uh, live actually on that crane. And in just in this whole area, there's corn ranch, there's egrets, there's lots of natural beauty right here. But anyway, I don't want to digress onto that. I want to talk about a cool, rusty old American crane. And, and I don't mean American by American like United States, but I mean that's the brand of the crane. And I see a lot of these cranes um, on these old shipyards, this style of crane. I don't know what you call it, but I know there's overhead cranes and then there's like these swing cranes and different types of cranes. But anyway, this particular style of crane here is one that I see often left um, just abandoned and discarded in old shipping yards. What's cool about this is here is an American crane and I'm going to show you something. We're going to get up to the top of this boom. And little did I know that at the very top is an American Kestrel. <laughs> I should have bought a lotto ticket that day. Look at him up there, sitting up there on the top of that boom. You know why he's sitting there? Because he can. <laughs> How awesome. But uh, he's going to fly away in a second. But there's a lot of natural beauty here. It's right on this slough. Um, you can see these these canal, those locks down there, I guess, you know, while we were there, I saw a bunch of abandoned pumps and old, uh, you know, water pumps. I guess those little uh, locks or whatever filled up and they could drain them and then they could fix boats or whatever in there. But uh, just anyway, really a cool place. There's an, uh, I think that's an osprey nest right there. Uh, it looks like an osprey nest and there's osprey in this area too. Um, we're going to get closer to this crane here, and I want to show you in these pulleys. Here is another bird nest. Uh, you know, this place has been vacant, I guess, since 2004. So there's lots of creatures that live on this crane. And there's even a barn owl I found that lived inside the crane. And I knew there was an owl living, you know, on or in this crane um, just because I could see the pellets and the, the um, you know, whitewash underneath the crane. Uh, but I wasn't aware until I actually climbed up in the crane that, sure enough, there was a barn owl in there. But uh, let's talk about what's in front of us. Look at these. Look at the way the Phantom 4 camera picks up all this detail and color and texture. I mean, I, I am really, I love this drone. I love this camera. Uh, this is a really cool bit of tech that, you know, it's a flying camera. It's incredible. When I was a kid, we played with Godzilla that had sparks shoot out of his mouth. That was epic. I'm 48, and now look what we have. Flying cameras. It's nuts. <laughs> what a great time to be involved in photography and exploration. Somebody went nuts with a cheetah print on this crane, and, you know, this one side is full of cheetah print. Uh, I wish they'd have left it alone and just stuck to regular graffiti, which I don't like either, but they ruin that side of the crane. It's it's all leopard or uh, cheetah or whatever it is, print. Uh, leopard print, I guess, is what it is. Oh, it's horrible. Um, but anyway, uh, what an incredible piece of American history, though, this crane is. And no matter what they build in place of this, that crane is going to be have to you know have to be dealt with, uh, you know. And these cranes are just incredible, you know. I wonder what year that crane, if it got here in 1920, I don't know what crane was here at that time. If, if I don't know how old this crane is, I should have did some looking and, and, uh, checking and seeing what, uh, year that crane was manufactured. And I probably still can. And if I can find out, I'll put that in the description down below. You can see the nameplate there between the, the control room and, uh, right there in the center, there's a nameplate. It says American crane on there. Uh, but that's the control room where the crane operator would climb up and he'd spend his day, man. Uh, you know, looking out those windows and and a little sunshade there over the window. But the top of the sunshade is gone, though. But that uh, offered a little shade from the, the noon sun, I bet, uh, you know. But how awesome. 
to climb up in there. And I've been in a few of these cranes before, climbed up in there, and they're all about the same inside. Circuit breakers and air compressors and the smell of hydraulic and, you know, uh, all kinds of, you know, some there's little chalkboards in there and stuff like that. And, you know, look at the, you see that uh, reflection of my drone in the window there? If you didn't catch it, go back a little, a few frames and check it out. Uh, you, you might see it in this window too, but you can see the Phantom 4 flying in the window. <laughs> cool man uh you can't see it in this one but in the previous window you could see it but look at all this cool stuff man uh you can see a lot of whitewash right there and there's even more on the ground down below look at that that's how you know there's an owl living there and plus all the little bones and pellets down there uh also gave me the idea that an owl was living inside or either under the crane or inside the crane uh and there was a barn owl that actually uh, is living inside there. But look at those casters, those wheels. If you've seen my other videos that I do with the swing bridges, those are the same types of wheels and same type of setup that, you know, the swing bridges are on. It's just a caster and it rolls around and it's just really cool, man. Look at the levers inside the operator's uh, dashboard there inside the window. Really cool, man. Just a lot of old, rusty, pitted, you know, uh, texture. This was once somebody's brand new machine, and it was a swinging and a working and a making noise all day, you know. And here it sits, retired, <laughs> home to the birds, you know. But uh, just a really cool find, and it took me a while to get out here to to do this, but uh, I'm glad I did. It was a really fun thing to explore with the Phantom Four. It was a calm uh, day, which was really nice. I got out there pretty early in the morning. Uh, just, uh, you know, just a really pretty, pretty way to spend the morning. And, you know, this is, like I say, this is a 154 acre site. And as I move around with the drone, you can see in the back some overhead cranes too. Um, you know, and whatever they, do, like I say, if they decide to put a, a shopping center here, they're going to have to move all that stuff and maybe scrap it or whatever. You can see, see in the very back, back there, those overhead cranes, really cool. I did a lot of flatbed work and so I... Uh, I do know the overhead crane. <laughs> I don't know what they call this one, but uh, like I say, I've seen some of these in San Francisco. I've climbed up some over there, and I've climbed up some cranes in some other places. But uh, you know, it's just a you know, just a cool thing to feel and look at and and realize that you know uh, this built ships during the war. How how cool is that? And you really do get a good view of the the overhead cranes back there, and just how big a property this is and how far back the rails go for that crane you can see all the way to the left of the frame and that crane covered a, a good distance you know as we back away a little bit with the drone here and get up above it uh you can see those rails they go back quite a ways um and these little i don't know what you call those like a a lock or something that you would put the boat in and and you could uh, pump the water out. There's some old pumps there. I still heard the sound of water going into those uh, as the tide was changing. But uh, that's my guess at what those were. As you can see down there in the bottom right of the frame, there's some old pumps and things like that. I guess they would, uh, you know, take the water in and out of those holding bays and uh, and do boat work or whatever. But look, here's a really cool shot. Man, the old lamp shades and imagine an old tungsten lamps swinging in that thing and, and lighting up the bottom of the ground and you know uh, I can just imagine the sound of the metal and the that it would make and the type of light and the color temp that it would cast on the scene it looked really cool I bet man you know and there's the sign on the boom that says American uh, that's pretty neat and I do uh, like I say inside uh, on the outside of the um, control room there is a a nameplate also that says American Crane. Uh, I may look that up and put that in the description down below. If there's any more information I find, I'll put it in there. And then there's that osprey. I assume it's an osprey nest. It looks like an osprey nest, and there's osprey in that area. But um, there were no birds in it. Uh, there was no osprey action that I saw while I was there. If you see any, some of my other videos, you know that, uh, or have been to my website, you know I do a lot of bird photography also. Um, and uh, it's a, another cool way I spend my, my time. But we'll come back down here and just give you a view. See, there's no leopard prints on this side of the crane. How awesome. The other side, man, they ruined it with the stupid leopard prints. Uh, but but uh, this side of the crane is really cool, man. All yellow and rusty. And there's some wooden 
uh, floorboards in there also. When you get up in there, uh, you know, it's pretty dark. There's there's light, but it only comes in from the sides, and uh, it's pretty dark inside there. But it's it's uh, it smells like an old crane full of gears, and, and uh, it's still got a little hydraulic smell in there, and it's full of Modelo beer bottles too. <laughs> Somebody's been up there drinking Modelo. <laughs> Not me. But uh, let's get up here and take a look. Uh, see there to the right, you can see the American name plaque on there. It's been painted over yellow. And uh, just to give you... And I guess that needle there is sort of a uh, gauge as far as, you know, degrees uh, for the um, the boom uh, to tell you what, you know, what degree the, the boom uh, was raised or lowered. So, and there's an old lamp. I bet that old lampshade up on the top there, that had a big old halogen bulb in there, man. I bet that would light up the whole area. Really cool. You know, there's just so much history in this kind of thing, and, and I love it. And I appreciate you guys watching the video with me uh, and, you know, being a part of it and, you know, giving ear and audience to, to some of these things that I explore, and I, I appreciate it. If you haven't done so, uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Visit my website, insightfulimagery.com. Lots of cool artwork on there for sale. Um, in, my Instagram is insightful underscore imagery. I'm on Facebook at insightful imagery. I'm all over the place, man. Just find me. Uh, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate the feedback and the, the interaction I get with you guys on these videos. And, um, you know, until the next video, guys, take care. I appreciate it. Stay safe. And uh, keep a lookout for some new videos, man. I post them every single week. Take care.